So anyway, I just wanted to show you, I wanted to add some more saffron, so I pulled out my big box of saffron. This is a Spanish uh, saffron. And there's a, you know, that's a good, that's a good amount. You can make a ton of risotto out of that. So I threw in more into my rice. And you can already see the yellow is, you know, kind of coming out of the saffron to begin with. So now it's right where I want it to be. Kind of see now the rice has turned an opaque color, kind of clear opaque. And that's right where I want to start adding the wine. So I'm just using a bottle of white wine here. I want to deglaze that. And the real trick is just cooking it till it's dry in these three different stages. And that really will help get that beautiful, thick, creamy consistency to risotto. One thing I will tell you is I don't ever use heavy cream in my risotto. I go to some places, they do that. I can't stand it. I don't like that. That's cheating and it's really not giving me the consistency of what risotto should be. Okay. And then once this dries up a little bit, I'm going to start adding my chicken broth. Again, like I said, you want the chicken broth to be hot. That also helps, you know, that helps make the risotto cook faster. So. You can already see how beautiful the color of this is becoming this beautiful golden creamy rice and that's exactly what we look what we're looking for here. want to cook in kind of a circular motion. A uh, heavy bottom pan is also key of course you know, anytime you cook. I mean really I don't think there's many times you want to use a thin bottom pan. But again we're making uh, this beautiful saffron risotto. All this saffron melanese, melanese. Classic for the Vila Sabuco we're doing here today. So all right now it's dried up really quickly exactly what I wanted you to see. Now it's all the liquids dry up and now we're going to add chicken stock, chicken broth. Just want to cover the rice a little bit. So now we'll cook this for about five to eight minutes. It'll dry up and then we'll add another batch of stock. We'll do that two more times. In the end we'll come back and finish it up with a Parmesan cheese and butter. All right, cheers.